Hi friends, in this video, we'll see how do we backup and restore AEM. Why we need backup of AEM instance? There are cases we break AEM local instance while developing and deploying sites locally. Setting up same environment takes much time. To avoid this, we can backup AEM local instance and restore whenever required. Do it on major milestones completions. We can also help a new developer by sharing the project AEM backup from our local instance so that he can set it up in no time. Some notes here. Tool used is AEM backup CLI tool. So first we need to install Node.js, then install the tool using the command npm install hyphen g aem hyphen backup hyphen cli. I have provided the GitHub location of this tool in the description of this video. The commands of these tools are amb help exit backup list delete restore. Let us see the demo now. To start with, we need to install the Node.js. There are so many tutorials in Google how do we install Node.js, so I will not be doing that. I have already installed the Node.js in my local machine. Next, we need to install the CLI tool. So the command is npm install hyphen g aem hyphen backup hyphen CLI. Press enter. Since I have already installed this tool, I will not be hitting the enter now. To test whether the tool is installed, we can enter the command amb. We have got the response back from the server. So this shows the backup tool is installed successfully. So by pressing exit, we can come out of this tool. I have a local AEM instance running in this location as you are able to see. I am going to take a backup from this location now. So let me try to get the help. As you see, there are commands like help, exit, backup, list, delete, restore. So there are two things you should take care of. First one is the AEMB tool will be running only inside the AEM installed folder. And second one is this tool will be running only when the AEM instance is down. So before you run this AMB tool, ensure that AM is down. To do the backup, the command is first you need to run the AMB. Now run the backup command. You can see that the backup is done now. Here is CRX kickstart dot backups. So this is the folder. You can see that release one dot tar is the release two dot tar. Now I have created two backups to to restore. This is the command. 
please pick up a backup to restore release one or release two here as you see i have uh, up arrow and down arrow options once i select this and hit enter the restoration will start based on the current release 